I've been coming to ASU Gamage for more than 20 years, and I don't think I've ever seen a Broadway musical that didn't get a standing ovation on opening night. And that's why this is not a review. Hi, I'm Kerry Stewart Lingle. If you enjoyed Broadway's take on the hit movies School of Rock, Dirty Dancing, and The Wedding Singer, you'll fall in like all over again with Tootsie, a new musical based on the Dustin Hoffman film. The setting has been updated from the world of 1980s soap operas to present-day Broadway, transforming Tootsie into a backstage comedy in the tradition of 42nd Street and Kiss Me Kate, although not a particularly memorable one. The first national tour, produced by Troika Entertainment, is in Tempe through Sunday, March 20th. Taking over for Tony Award winner Santino Fontana, Drew Becker stars as Michael Dorsey, a New York actor who has alienated just about everybody in his profession, including his agent and possibly even his roommate, because he thinks he's Daniel Day-Lewis, even when he's playing a tomato in a TV commercial. I was a stand-up tomato, a juicy, sexy beefsteak tomato. Nobody does vegetables like me. I so, to prove once and for all that he's right and everybody else is wrong, Michael Dorsey transforms himself into Dorothy Michaels and auditions for the same schmuck director who just blacklisted him, landing a part in an unauthorized Shakespeare sequel called Juliet's Curse. Unfortunately, the musical within Tootsie the Musical adds up to less than the sum of its sight gags and punchlines. We are told, but not shown, how much better the show is getting thanks to Dorothy Michaels meddling from the wings. This proves our hero to be the misunderstood genius he's always known himself to be, and ultimately justifies his toxic, entitled behavior. If you think I'm being harsh, consider this. Officially, every part in Tootsie the Musical is open to actors of all ethnicities. The current cast features people of color in roles created on film by Jessica Lange and Bill Murray. But let's be honest here. There's no way this story works, either in 1982 or in 2022, without a certified white dude in the lead, because ultimately, Tootsie is about a hero learning to check his privilege without losing his hero status. Dustin Hoff, in an interview that has gone wildly viral, the Oscar winner tears up when talking about his iconic character in the movie Tootsie and what he learned about the pressure on women to look beautiful. I think I'm an interesting woman when I look at myself on screen. And I know that if I met myself at a party, I would never talk to that character because she doesn't fulfill physically the demands that we're brought up to think we have, women have to have. Tootsie still works as a film because Dustin Hoffman is a great screen actor surrounded by other great screen actors and because they're all working together to keep the audience identifying with the protagonist in a story conceived, written, directed, and now adapted almost entirely by white dudes. So, with no disrespect to the actors working non-union contracts on this nostalgia monetization machine, I recommend saving your money for future tours of critically acclaimed shows like A Strange Loop, Black No More, and Thoughts of a Colored Man. That is, if those shows get to tour, of course. 